Now, we've said how to say the places. Let's move on now to say how do you say you live in a place? Or how do you say you go to a place? These are prepositions. And prepositions really do often catch people out. You can have people who speak very, very good English and then they will slip up on saying an at where it should be an in or an on where it should be to. And it's exactly the same for us speaking French. And if we can get this right, this really will impress people, but also make it so that we're understood straight away. There's a really good website page with a full explanation about this. And I'm just going to click on it now to show you. It's a website called Quizic, and I really recommend this. So here, for example, there's a very clear explanation of continents and countries, whether they're masculine or feminine. That's what we've just been doing. Um, and then later on, they also have something which tells you how to go to places. So I really do recommend that. Now, how do you live, say you live in a place? Right. J'habite dans un village. I live in a village. J'habite à la campagne. J'habite en Europe. J'habite en Angleterre. J'habite dans le Surrey. J'habite à Dorking. In. All of those are in. Whatever it is they're talking about, it's all in. But there are quite a few differences there, aren't there? What about I go to? Je vais dans un village, je vais à la campagne, je vais en Europe, je vais en Angleterre, je vais dans le Surrey, je vais à Dorking. Again, a selection there of prepositions, whereas here it's just all the time to. Whatever it is, it's to. So, can you see that pattern? Here, I live in England, the verb, the live, changes the preposition. So you need a preposition which goes with the verb, I live in, or I go to. Here, the verb doesn't change the preposition. So I live en Angleterre, je vais en Angleterre. J'habite dans le Surrey, je vais dans le Surrey. J'habite à Dorking, je vais à Dorking. So whatever that verb is there, the preposition stays the same. And conversely, here, the fact that it's England, Surrey or Dorking makes no difference. In stays the same. Again, England, Surrey or Dorking, it's still two. No, no difference. And you don't have to learn that. You know that naturally. But the bit that might not be intuitive to you is that in French, you do actually have to think of a different word for in. It isn't simple. You can't just say, oh, that's the word for in. It depends on what the place is as to how you say in. En Angleterre, dans le Surrey, à Dorking. Okay? But it is the same preposition, whatever the verb is. I live in England, I go to England. So it's the same preposition. I live in Surrey, I go to Surrey. Same preposition. To help you, I've put together a reference grid where I've put, actually I've put up there five categories, it's actually four categories. So I live in, I go to, and I've put together anything which is a geographical feature, like a town, a village, by the sea or whatever. I've put together the countries, the continents and the islands. I've put together a county or a region. And finally, if it's a town. So you'll have a copy of this so you can refer to it and see how do you say those things. And I'm just going to go through that with you now. First of all, if it's a geographical feature, so j'habite, I live in, je vais, I go to. Dans une ville, in or to a town. Dans un village, in or to a village. Au bord de la mer, literally at the border of the sea, à la, au bord de la mer, at the seaside or I go to the seaside, à la campagne, in the countryside, à la montagne, in the mountains, en ville, in town, and that's sort of general town, not a specific town, but I'm just going to go, I'm going to have a holiday in town, whatever the type of town is. Okay, 
So for all of those, it's the same preposition, whether it's for in or to, whether it's I live in or I go to, it's the same. Second category, countries. So again, I live in or I go to. If the country is masculine, it's au Canada. That's how you're replacing, if you like, à le. You're never allowed to say à le, you've got to say au, au Canada. If it's feminine, you say en, en France. So that bit can be quite confusing, can't it? Because there, you know, it's to the, and this is en. That's not even to the. To the would be à la. And it's not, that's not the way they say it. So you really have to learn this. Au Canada, but en France. If the country begins with a vowel, whether it's feminine or masculine, you will say en. En Angleterre. Angleterre is feminine. You'd expect that. But this perhaps you might not. En Iran. In Iran. Iran is masculine but we use en because it begins with a vowel. So masculine without a vowel or with a vowel en. And then this one you'll often hear and people often want to say and I'd like to make sure you know how to pronounce it. So to the states, in the states or to the states is au, A-U-X, au. Because that begins with a vowel you do pronounce that X as a Z. Aux états unis aux états unis aux états unis so that's for countries. Islands. So again, I live in or I go to. Mallorca is a Mallorca. So when it's a singular island, just a. A Mallorca. You could also say on the island. So I live on the island. I'm going on the island. Sur, sur l'île de Mallorca. Now, Sicily. Corsica, Guadeloupe are also islands, but these are exceptions, possibly because people think of them as being almost like a country in themselves. They're, you know, they're, they're bigger places. So Sicily is part of Italy, but people think of it almost as a country. So those we use en, en Sicile, en Corse, en Guadeloupe. So they're islands, they're single islands, but they don't follow the rule of a, they use en. En Sicile, en Corse, en Guadeloupe. Counties, regions and states. So, j'habite, I live in, je vais, I go to. If it's masculine, it's dans le. And we've already seen that on a previous slide. Dans le Hampshire, dans le Devon, dans le whatever is dans le. And if it begins with a vowel or a mute H, then it would go to that dans l'Essex, par exemple. In France, a feminine region is en, en Provence. So that's in France. Coming back to uh, the UK then, what's an exception to that? We've already mentioned this, Cornwall, Cornouailles, with an S, so en Cornouailles. I suppose perhaps again because it's seen to them as being a little region of itself. Au Québec, as well, has its own Au Québec, even though it's not a country. It follows the same rule as a country, doesn't it? Au Québec, like Au Canada. Okay. And then, if it's an island here, you can say on the Isle of Wight. Sur l'île de Wight. Sur l'île de Wight. The main one people will be using is this dans le, though, won't they? Dans le Devon, dans le... The, the vast majority of counties... And the one that you'll be using most of all, going, living in a town or going to a town, is just very, very simple. A. By the way, all towns are treated as feminine, but à Dorking is enough. Je vais aller à Dorking, à Paris, à Londres, à Guildford, à Belfast, whatever it is, it's always à. And an exception to that is in France, where you do have some towns which might be masculine, like Le Havre, Le Havre, Going to Le Havre is je vais au Havre, or j'habite au Havre. So here's a summary. 
for the names. So you had the geographical features, which you've got separately, but I think it's these names which can really cause problems. And it may help you to learn it this way. When do you use en? You use it for feminine singular countries. So for example, en Espagne, en France. Countries which begin with a vowel, so they might be masculine, en Iran. All continents are feminine, en Europe. Some islands in the singular. So that was those examples of en Corse, en Sicile, en Guadeloupe. When do you use O? You use it with countries which are masculine singular, like Canada, O, Canada, Japan, O, Japon. Some towns which are particularly masculine, like Le Havre, Au Havre. When do you use O, that's the plural to the, with countries which are plural, like the United States, aux états unis the Netherlands, aux Pays-Bas. And with islands which are plural, for example, aux Seychelles. And when do you use A, this is when it's a town, feminine singular, à Guildford, à Dorking, à Londres, à Paris. And if it's a singular island, like for example, à um, Mallorca. And just for interest to finish this off, this section, it's quite interesting to know that there are different genders for rivers in France. And this is a lovely map that someone's done where they've put all of the feminine rivers in pink and all of the muscular ones in blue and they couldn't find out when what the what the green ones were so you might be interested in looking at that <laughs>